Hi and a very big hello to everyone. This is Marisha Parekh. I'm the CEO at The Wedding School and I'm here happy to be reconnecting after I think a gap of about seven to eight months. Uh, it's it's uh, been a gap with a purpose, with a reason because after chit-chatting it's also important not to do some solid work to make sure that all the promises that we are making to our students, we are sticking to it. So it's been a very, very eventful year. And I thought today I'll just take a quick chance of uh, just catching up with you all and getting you guys updated with what's going on in uh, my life, in the life of uh, uh, the entire team at TWS. And we're really excited because uh, we have our convocation that's going to take place tomorrow. So it's a very, very special week. Um, we have had, I think, uh, one of the biggest uh, strengths of students for this batch, uh, where we uh, reached uh, 50 students uh, who had enrolled for the design and decor and the wedding planning course. And tomorrow we are going to be meeting a lot of them in person uh, in Mumbai. A lot of them are traveling from out of Mumbai to just join us and collect their certificates, spend time with us. Uh, last year, I remember we had done this, uh, you know, convocation and we had such a fantastic time connecting with our students whom we would just meet, uh, you know, over Zoom. Zoom, my favorite, literally my favorite and everyone who knows me. Uh, and everyone actually has this little joke in the industry, you know, that where will you find Marisha? You'll find her on Zoom. So, <laughs> but I really believe that Zoom was honestly created for, for me <laughs> because I think that's, that's something that I've done full Vasuli on. And uh, I'm excited because tomorrow we are going to be meeting those whom I've only connected with on Zoom. Uh, those whom we've taught, a lot of them who have excelled a uh, lot of them who are still excelling and are not able to actually join us uh, for the convocation because they're busy out doing weddings. And I feel so happy. Um, I know everyone keeps talking about creating competition, etc., etc. But I just feel that I've created opportunities for them through this brand called TWS. And I feel so blessed um, that we're able to do something that's really changing their lives for the better. Uh, <laughs> Somebody's writing Vasuli. Yeah, but that's literally what I keep doing. I want to say hello to everyone before I move on and on. I, I keep forgetting to acknowledge people who join in. So waving back to everyone and a hello to everyone who is uh, here on this page. Thank you guys for joining. It's been so long and a nice good evening to everyone. I definitely want to give a big shout out to Sharon and uh, Sweetie and Usha Ma'am and Poonam, Debbie. You guys have really done such an amazing job to make this brand uh, reach its next level every single year. Uh, so yeah, uh, this year we celebrate our fifth anniversary and there's something about my hair that's bothering me. Um, yeah, so we, we celebrate our fifth anniversary, so it's very, very special. Tomorrow is the convocation, thus it's exciting. I just finished shoot, shooting some very interesting videos for TWS new campaign for the new batch, which is going to commence in July. However, we are, we, we love to prep and keep the prep going. So we shot something really cool and something fun, relevant, um, and yet uh, superbly different. I'm very excited with the campaign that we have come up with for this year. And uh, every year we have really consciously spend uh, very, very productive weeks and months together to design what the new campaign should look like. It's really easy for me to say, hey, you know, I'm going to teach you wedding planning, design decor and come over and enroll. Uh, I find it more exciting if we have a thought and we have a statement to make about the time. So every time it's very situational. Uh, whenever we design our campaigns, there's a lot of thought that goes into what is going on in the industry right now. How do you relate it to what somebody who doesn't know this industry can connect with? So, itna thought jata hai and then a lot of times, even sometimes the team wonders like, do people even understand what we're doing? But I tell you, 
the audience and your potential student today is too intelligent they actually can catch you on the smallest of thoughts or words that you decide to speak out it actually connects with them at a very different level they judge you for the kind of content you're putting out and thus i take this part superbly serious which is the campaign for the new batch so we cracked this campaign around the month of jan but we still took time because we were not getting you know the right tonation for it um and today finally we shot some uh, videos and i'm i'm really excited uh, you're going to see that really soon uh, in a, in a week or so but it's been a very 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 fulfilling um five years for our brand and i just want to say a very big thank you firstly to all the students especially the first batch because without having a reference point you just trusted us you believed in us you felt we would give you the right sense of direction the right grooming so always 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 going to be grateful to you guys for having faith in us while i was very confident we were doing the right thing and i had a a, a great mentor in the form of an academician uh, you know who was there to guide us and groom us and train us as to how to actually um, share the knowledge you know having the knowledge is one part knowing where somebody is going wrong is uh, easier but being able to tell you what's the right way to do it is really challenging and i think we aced the game over these years consciously working improving on our uh, curriculum on our style of teaching adapting to zoom to make this more uh, effective being able to reach out to students from different countries uh, cities those who understand english those who are more fluent in hindi those who think in hindi but can speak english um even my friends from down south we have really touched so many of them without physically being there with them we have managed to connect with so many students down south that i really feel that tws today belongs to india it's not a mumbai based institute i remember that was the first line i had written on the website it's not that it's much beyond that and tws belongs to the industry um we are very blessed and i want to say a big thank you to our faculty besides the first batch the next comes the faculty who uh were not just passionate but they were really moved by the entire action they uh understood to a great extent how difficult it is to actually put things together and make the next gen ready to become professionals uh and i want to thank them because they genuinely take out time uh they go by our notes that we give them they prepare the way we want them to prep uh we do run throughs and rehearsals for our sessions also i mean that's how crazy we are but we like it that way uh sagar i'm doing well hope you're doing well too and a big hello to everyone else around guys big big hello and and waving back to all of you um so that's that's the next thank you i want to say i want to definitely say big thank you to uh, amruta uh, sharon um, usha ma'am who really been like strong pillars and and made sure that we are connecting the right way with our students i think uh, for us the the major achievement has only set in when we've seen our students excel uh, we've seen them go to international destinations to do weddings when we've seen them set up their own enterprises and then hire our next batch students um i think it's it's beyond words and i tell you it is absolutely a joy to be able to make that difference uh of course there are a lot of learnings i think it's a very scary uh, environment to be able to um deal with the new gen is a challenge it has been a learning of a new level where um you got to be far more sensitive um you want to be strict because you want to have discipline in their lives but today is not the time where your concern may be taken rightly whether you're a boss or you're a teacher you've got to be so much uh, more aware of how how you're communicating with the next gen it's 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 a crazy time um and it is frightening at times uh intent somehow is not as important as the impact um 
I'm not too sure if uh, that's really good. I feel it's a total loss for the new gen uh, when the intent is kept aside and only the impact of uh, the choice of words is uh, held on to. I think in the long run, um, developing their mental strength is going to be of great priority. Unfortunately, a few months is never enough to do that. And I'd urge all of you to try and make this as a conscious effort with all your colleagues that you work with, where you all are constantly there for each other, not to support and sympathize, but to pull up people and make them understand that sometimes mental pressure is also slightly misunderstood, sometimes a little overrated, sometimes we underestimate ourselves. Um, sometimes we put too much pressure, but a lot of times we take ourselves too seriously. So I think that is one place where I feel very concerned. Mm, I think the kind of hardships that we were able to take through, I don't think a 20 year old today is competent enough to deal with. Um, and there are a lot of factors that come into play. And for me, the traditional ways of getting discipline on is still, still superbly important, but care, hey, it's a learning. As a teacher also, it has been a total case of learning and molding yourselves to the newer ways in which you have to find yourself uh, relatable, show your concern and be understood in the right sense. Um, I think for me this year and this entire time with TWS uh, is going to be very, very special. We have managed to create some very interesting uh, segments. Uh, we've started training hoteliers, uh, for example, getting them more aware and well-versed with what are the wedding trends, what is you know, Indian culture all about, um, how can they go about connecting better with clients. So we've designed a few models, uh, modules. We've started getting into uh, you know, the space of training hoteliers, and that's something really exciting for me. And uh, for those who know me, you guys know I love talking it comes naturally to me it has been my first profession let's not forget and i am, am not there by default but it's a lot of effort of a lot of years that makes me uh, you know speak uh, effectively but i'm very excited to explore this area more and more because i feel that there's so much of global attention that we are bringing to indian clientele that i really want to make sure that they are equally equipped and ready to be able to deal with the Indian client who is ever so demanding and expects you to know it all. So it's a very cool uh, space to be in and uh, something new to explore. I don't know, you know, where life takes you, but uh, uh, I think I enjoy new opportunities and I love creating these opportunities. I don't like to wait for that to come knocking to my door. Um, Nottingham, of course, is one of those such opportunities which uh, was created uh, with a conscious effort. And uh, I think eventually, and this is something I always would love for all the youngsters who will watch this video to keep in mind, your relationship is not of today. It is supposed to last you for a lifetime. So please value the people whom you're speaking with, connecting with. Please understand that you may say a goodbye to them today, but that's not going to be the last time you'll deal with them. So be very careful, very conscious, and just be a nice person from within so that you don't have to make an effort. You are just naturally nice and you want nothing but the best for somebody, it will automatically translate into great work and contribution by you. And that will take you such a long way. I can tell you from my own example of uh, now 22, entered my 23rd year in this industry. And I can tell you that it is just so, so simple. And sometimes you don't make an effort uh, to please people. I think I'm a person who's always made an effort to respect people, uh, to always believe that if they are there, they must be doing something right. And I've always tried to search for that something right, subconsciously imbibe that in myself and try to thus make myself a stronger professional. And those relations, those respects, those connections today stand so strong with me. 
uh, that nothing in this world can shake me up. Um, I think that's one thing that I really wish, uh, you know, as I celebrate five years of TWS and I'm waiting to also do, I don't know, uh, what kind of a metaverse or beyond kind of a life when I'm celebrating the 10th and the 25th of this brand. But I'm absolutely delighted that there are a lot of factors that play and this is a moment where we want to definitely recognize those special factors. And of course, I'm really excited for the fact that uh, another 50 professionals who will tomorrow officially be out of the TWS uh, arena will be out there in the market helping, creating uh, contributors, which is our hashtag. So we are hoping that they're going to help organizations do better. I've had a lot of my interns this year who worked with um, newer companies where they have lean teams, uh, three to four members, and my students have got the opportunities and we've always told them, don't wait you know, to complete a year, if you're getting a chance, just grab onto it because you're well trained to be able to take that step forward. And with the right mentoring, even from the owners of these companies, I think the students in the internship have excelled really well. Uh, a lot of them got to travel, you know, abroad. Um, and I think for me, that is a very exciting uh, space to be in uh, when you get to do international destination weddings. A lot of them got to design uh, sets and, uh, you know, for, for backdrops, for example, for a Mendy event, etc. And their design was actually executed by the team. I don't think that, you know, this is an opportunity that can come very easily. It has come to them because of this huge brand called TWS, which the industry has very, very well supported and trusted more than anything. Uh, what pressure hota hai, boss? Uh, to live up to the expectations, uh, to be constantly there, to be handling the temperaments of the owners of these companies, along with our interns who are, of course, superstars in their head. So to keep them grounded, to mature the owner, to be able to have that equilibrium, that's been um, quite a journey this year, but I'm loving it. Um, and I think uh, we're looking forward to July, where we've already started having lots of students who've enrolled. I'm really excited uh, that uh, without having to even speak about what's the course, when is it starting, we already have students who've enrolled. And I think that speaks wonders and, and uh, you know, speaks volumes about uh, how effective our methods have been and how promising a career we have been able to give our students because, um, it, it has not come by fluke. It's all been uh, worked towards consciously. So guys, always keep making the effort. You don't know when you will strike luck. Um, always keep giving your 120%. I don't believe in 100%. And everyone who knows me knows that. Kabhi kabhi problem bhi ho jata hai is cheez ka. Um, jis ki bharbai sab logo ko karni hai. <laughs> But no regrets. Um, like uh, someone told me this morning, uh, I'm at an age where probably I cannot change everything about myself. And this is one habit that I don't want to. I'm very, very, very deeply passionate and crazy about doing it right. And uh, I think when you have the right team that believes in the same and everyone goes equally crazy, you do achieve success and nothing belongs to an individual. Uh, I may be standing, sitting here and, uh, you know, facing you and uh, chatting and putting out my thoughts there, but it's all a lot of work by a lot of people um, who constantly have worked towards uh, one goal. And I think um, adapting with changing times is another key. So while you keep your focus, while you give your 120%, adapting to change is so important, which has definitely led us to evolving uh, into multiple, you know, branch out into multiple brands. It has helped us in terms of connecting with the 20 year old. Um, you will feel the gap of a generation in, uh, you know, between a 20 year old and a 25 year old today. That's that's how crazily fast this, uh, you know, our world is moving. So how do you 
manage to draw that connection with each of them. It's an effort. It's a lot of effort to undo what you believe in and to start thinking from their perspective, keep your experience intact and yet look vulnerable when you are with them. So, hey, hey, it's maybe jata hai, bohat time jata hai, it's not a miracle. There's a lot of them who thought that uh, this school is just going to be about their, wo kya hi kar lenge, kitna hi chalega, but we feel so, so, so good that uh, today we have students, our international students also who recommend us to their friends. Uh, and uh, those guys in turn, uh, you know, in turn with us, if they are relocating to India also, they are interested in learning with us. So um, we've helped the industry grow. I can say that very, very confidently. And we are looking forward to doing exactly that with this July batch as well. Um, our uh, entire course on design decor has been a great challenge and um, I think uh, we've loved the first year and we know the second year is only going to get better. It's all a question of, you know, practice and uh, I'm sure we're going to do really well and, and help uh, fill up that huge gap that there is for a talent that understands the space and, and design and yet can connect with a client and a wedding planner. So lots on that and you will keep seeing a little more of me a little more often. I hope I'm not going to bore you, but I'm going to sign off now. I just want to come live to say a big thank you to you guys, give you a little bit of what I have learned through this year. And uh, thank you for making these five years so special for TWS. Looking forward to the convocation tomorrow, looking forward to the new batch and looking forward to making a difference one more time with the entire team at TWS. So kudos, lots of love to you. And I think in about two weeks from now, I'll be back on a live where we will be taking questions on what next for those who have already done the course and for those of you who already completed two years into this industry, how do you now upscale yourself and learn a couple of more things? We'll be talking on that as well. So stay connected uh, through the TWS page and I'm looking forward to meeting my students tomorrow live in Mumbai. Alrighty, see you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and have a good weekend ahead.